Hi, everyone. Oh, good. Got some more coming down. Well, I have some trivia for you today. You, you know how much I love trivia, especially if, you're, if you go to youth group. We do trivia every time. I have some trivia for you. I would like to read to you a few things, number one, two, and three, and I want you to tell me which one of these three things is not one of the Ten Commandments. Okay? Let's just see. Let's see. Okay, number one, love the Lord your God with all your heart. Number two, thou shalt honor your father and mother. Hmm. Number three, you must agree with everyone all the time, no matter what. Who, how many think it's one? No. Two? Three? Oh, okay. Three, you must agree with everyone all, time, all the time, no matter what. Yeah, God, God doesn't ask us to do that, does he? Number two is you shall honor your father and mother, and that one is one of the Ten Commandments. Yeah. God doesn't ask us to agree with everyone all the time. So what happens when we disagree? You know what that's called? It starts with a C. K. Conflict. Have any of you, raise your hand, have any of you ever seen or experienced conflict? Have you ever disagreed? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we've all probably disagreed with someone at some point. We've experienced conflict. So that could be maybe you and your friend are hanging out after school, and you want to play this game, and your friend wants to play that game. That's a disagreement. Technically, that's conflict. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a we upstairs in the, in the high school, older class Sunday school room, and we have two controllers. Well, if there's three people that want to play and we have two controllers, that means one person won't be able to play. That could be a disagreement on who gets to play and who doesn't get to play. That could be a conflict. Well, how many of you just, how many, do you love conflict? Do you love disagreeing? <laughs> yeah, it's not really, not really fun, is it? So there's some ways, <laughs> there's some ways that we are taught to handle conflict. So there's three things that I want you to remember. Oops, nope. There's, one, there's three things that I'm going to tell you, and one of these is one way that God asks us to respond to conflict. So I'm going to list three things. You tell me which one God wants us to do, okay? When there is conflict, God calls us to be, number one, stubborn. When there is conflict, God wants us to be stubborn. Number two, when there is conflict, God wants us to be rude. Number three. When there is conflict, God wants us to be gracious. How many think it's number one? Two. Three? Gracious? Yeah, God wants us to be gracious. So it's so in conflict, when we're in the middle of a disagreement, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to remember to be gracious. So there's just three things that I want you to repeat after me. Grace. Kindness and love. Those are three things that we can put in our disagreements and in our conflicts. Can we say them all together? Grace, kindness, and love. Ready? Go. Grace, kindness, and love. And like I said, as we know, it's not easy. It's not easy to do this every day in our conflicts and disagreements, but we can ask God for his help in the midst of crisis and conflict. So will you pray with me, and we will ask God to help us with those things. Repeat after me nice and loud. Dear God, we know conflict may happen at any time. Help us face conflict with grace, kindness, and love. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for coming down. You can go have a seat.